Tro Bros visits the Botanic Gardens at UCR in Riverside, California. Great garden. Besides all these horrific steps. Just kidding. Wasn't that bad. Um, this place is awesome. I would recommend it to everybody. Um, it's cheap. It's a gem. A hidden gem, per se. Um, not a lot of people know about it. Um, they think it's... Hidden, people say it wasn't that hard to get to. Um, just Google it, you get directions right to it. I had no problem. It's cheap. I think I paid 25 cents an hour for parking, and it's donation for um, they accept donations, uh, minimum of five bucks. Give them more, it's worth more. Um, you don't have to pay, uh, but I would recommend it. There's a donation box at the front. You could actually volunteer as well um, at the office. There's a volunteer form if you want to help out there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of trails, uh, very peaceful, very nature-like. Um, they have benches there. You can take a lunch, take some water, take some good shoes. We had went and it was, um, like I said, it had been raining before that. So we were, um, our feet were sinking in in some of the places in the trail. Um, nothing too major, nothing too steep as well. Um, <clears throat> that plant had some beautiful color to it. That tree, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, more of the trail here. Um, it almost feels like you're in a forest up there, like you're not even in Riverside anymore, like you left Riverside and you're on vacation somewhere. That's the feeling you get. This plant was awesome, I liked it. Um, I count it, uh, that sprout comes out of the middle. Now we're down to the lower lands, the, the deserty plants, the cactus. This cactus was really bright. Um, reminded me of Christmas for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, some more cactus. Uh, this tree was awesome. I liked it for whatever reason. I don't even know the name of it. Um, but yeah, this place is great. Um, like I said, real peaceful. A uh, lot of space there. Take your kids, very cheap. You're um, helping UCR. Um, I'm actually jealous of the students. They have um, access to this place. I could imagine myself uh, doing a lot of studying here, or trying to get away and trying to relax during finals. Because I know how stressful everybody is during finals. This could be a place where the students could go and kind of just forget about everything and, and maybe even study. Um, there's some of that cool cactus, Mexican lime cactus, has this reddish, reddish needles, it has reddish needles. Um, more of the lower land, this tree was cool too. Um, some of the stuff I would like to try to grow at home now since I've seen it. Some of these cactuses, because we're in Riverside, this area where we could go cactus pretty easily. Um, there's some more cactus as well. The next cactus is pretty cool, it's called not this one. This one's cool, actually, as well. This is the barrel cactus. This one's cool as well. But the next one here is one of the favorites. It's called Old Man Andes. Old Man of the Andes. Yeah, this cactus is cool. I think you may call it Old Man Andes because of the gray hair. What's pretty cool about that hair is you can actually harvest it and make stuff like sweaters and stuff out of it. It's pretty neat. Imagine having a sweater made out of cactus. Old Man Andy's Cactus, to be exact. Uh, there's some more just lower uh, desert plants. Uh, cactus. Here's that ponytail palm from earlier. Pretty cool palm. More cactus. Um, so if you like, if you like horticulture, uh, this is a really cool garden. Uh, once again, it's at UCR. Go visit them and donate as well. It's pretty cool. I think it's gotten bigger. It's been getting bigger. Here's a sequoia tree. I love sequoia trees for some reason. They have a majestic uh, look to it, feel, feel to them, an old rustic look, like the bark's about to fall off almost. But I love sequoia. This is pretty cool that they have a sequoia there. So that's the end of our trip. Visit us at drobos.com. Follow us on social media and go visit this place. It's great.